A few years back, Rick Seaback visited the Pittsburgh Vintage Mixer and captured some of the cool stuff people buy and sell there for his WQED series, What's Rick Seaback Been Doing? Now you can go vintage too at the biggest vintage mixer yet. It's this Saturday at Nova Place on the north side. Michael Lutz and Bess Dunlevy are two of the co-founders of the mixer. We want to welcome them Thank and ask them yes. what makes this so unique. Well, we're really excited to offer all these vintage items. I mean, vintage is really popular right now. I think uh, these items stand the test of time. They've already been around for a long time, and people can kind of rediscover them or use them in to appeal to their own sense of personal style and taste and just bring something new that is new to them. Right. It's not necessarily really new. Something old is new. Yeah, yeah, things that are old are new again. Well, it's so funny. Everybody in the studio is kind of coming up and saying, oh, I remember this, or this looks like something <laughs> right. my grandma yeah. used to have or used to be in my house. Um, so how do you collect all of the items for the mixer? Oh, that's a great question. So we have over 60 sellers at the Vintage Mixer this weekend. Uh, they're from all over the Pittsburgh region. Some of them have brick and mortar stores. Some sell online. We also have a few sellers coming in from Ohio and from Michigan. And uh, to call them professional pickers would be an understatement. I these folks collect from all over. Uh, they've been collecting for years. We ourselves are collectors mm -hmm. as well. Many of the sellers are also collectors. So you know, it's it's really a, about getting the community community together, rather um, buying and selling from each other, con uh, con collecting and uh, yeah, so connecting with people in Pittsburgh who also love vintage. Mixing it up a little bit yeah. with everyone coming together in one place, so and you, you can see everything at once. You think this is going to be your biggest mixer yet? It is definitely Absolutely. our biggest mixer yet. Yeah, we're really excited to be in a new space on the north side, um, the North Shore at Nova Place. Mm -hmm. uh, we will have over 60 vendors of housewares, clothing, vinyl records. Um, Furniture, furniture, toys, uh, games, yeah. yeah holiday. Every, we yeah. had a couple of messages this week to people asking if they can find the 1950s aluminum Christmas trees. You will definitely yeah. find those at the Vintage <laughs> Mixer this weekend. <laughs> so um, why do you think vintage is so popular? I, I mean, oh. I agree with what Michael said. It, it definitely speaks to people's aesthetics. Sure, and it's things that, it's items that you can't find in a big box store. Right. And I think yeah. it's also really popular because it's sort of environmentally sustainable to reuse something that's been around for a while instead of buying something that you might throw away after a few months or a year of having Absolutely. it. They last longer. So when I hear the word vintage, sometimes I think, oh, that must be very expensive then if it's, mm -hmm. you know, that old that it stood the test of time right. and we're reselling it. So there's a mix of everything, though. You're Absolutely. You're going to find high end and something that you can afford that's Absolutely. budget friendly. Absolutely. Michael yeah. and our uh, partner Jason, who couldn't be here today, the three of us started this uh, seven years ago as a way to um, bring sellers of all budgets together. So if you're young, maybe you're putting something cool, you want something cool for your dorm room, you can come spend a couple bucks and go home with a treasure. Or maybe you have uh, your first home and you're looking for an investment piece, you can find a piece of mid-century modern furniture at the mixer as well. So it really does, um, it's a mix of all uh, pocketbooks, if, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> so we're looking at some of the fun items here and I, I saw the blender, I think that's so cool. But there's also a KDK radio cup. Of I oh, know, yeah. we have, a, yeah. This Someplace special and here's a 1986 Pittsburgh Marathon commemorative class. I love it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, some of these are really unique to Pittsburgh as well, and you'll see a lot of that there. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you for having it us. It sounds like it's going to be a great event, and you can look for these and other finds at the Pittsburgh Vintage Mixer from 10 until 6 this Saturday at Nova Place on the north side, as you heard. Tickets are just $5 at the door. Coming up next, The Common Heart, one of Pittsburgh's most popular bands back home for a big show this weekend and a request for fans when PTL comes right back.